now we will see shortest path problem ok now in shortest path problem we have used fluid algorithm ok it's a very time complex algorithm because three nested for loops are there so that means complexity is n to the power q ok and we can say it is for all pair shortest part for all pair shortest part problem also we can use this particular algorithm now one one two three four four nodes are there and these are directed graph so in between one two four to one it is 15 one two two it is to five but two to one it is 50 suppose if it is one way one to two it is distance is five kilometer but due to one way uh, condition two to one it is 50 kilometers similarly two to four it is five now using shortest path algorithm using this particular algorithm we have to we may apply dynamic programming okay and through this dynamic programming we can we can we can identify the shortest path algorithm now initial graph 1 to 1 1 to 1 distance 0 1 to 2 it is 5 1 to 2 it is 5 okay uh, okay you can see here 1 to 1 0 1 to 1 0 1 to 2 1 to 2 it is 5 1 to 2 it is 5 1 to 3 is infinite 1 to 3 there is no direct path that's what is infinite 1 to 4 1 to 4 it is infinite because there is no direct path from 1 to 4 similarly 2 to 1 it is 50 2 to 1 it is 50 2 to 2 is 0 2 to 3 2 to 3 is 15 2 to 3 is 15 okay and 2 to 4 it is 5 okay now it is is it clear this particular entry now if you apply this particular algorithm please uh, final output will be final d output will be this one and simultaneously you are entering the p p, p matrix okay so p matrix is there so you can check this one also okay now you can see here we are entering two two arrays are there d array and p array so final d values d array is this one and final p value is this one okay now the question is you can see here you can check here this from this particular final d array okay, is it visible now okay now d 1 2 3 1 2 3 what is the minimum distance so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 minimum distance is 15 so 1 2 3 minimum distance is 15 how it is possible so we can check here uh, 1 2 3 so we can move 1 2 2 5 2 2 4 5 4 2 5 5 4 2 3 5 so 5 plus 5 plus 5 which is 15 similarly 1 2 4 it is 10 1 2 4 it is 10 1 2 4 it is 10 1 2 2 5 2 2 4 5 so 5 plus 5 5 10 similarly initially 2 2 3 is 15 2 2 3 is 15 but final result is 2 2 3 is 10 that means we have to go 2 2 4 5 and 4 2 5 4 2 3 it is 5 so 5 plus 5 10 okay uh, is it clear the use of this final table now this particular table indicates the minimum distance in between the nodes since it is all pair shortest path problem from from each node to another distance what is the minimum distance but this particular table entries doesn't uh, indicate what is the path what is the path of this particular what is the root of that how we can move now for that we have to use this particular table this particular table and the algorithm for that is this one okay now we can see here suppose uh, path you want to know path in between 1 to 3 we want to select 1 to 3 okay now if a b p 1 3 say 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 p 1 3 p 1 3 0 no it is not 0 so we have to execute else part else part means recursive type e. so p a what is a this is a and b what is a here a is equal to 1 and what is p a b p a b p a b 1 3 p 1 3 is 4 ok now recursive type p 1 4 p 1 4 is equal to 0 p 1 4 is equal to 0 no it is 2 then that means path a is equal to 1 p 1 4 p 1 4 is what 2 recursive tab 1 p 1 2 p 1 2 p 1 2 is 0 p 1 2 is 0 yes return a b that means 1 2 2 there is a path 
return it then actually here we have executed the fourth line now the fifth line we have to execute so in fifth line what is there p a comma b what is 1 comma 4 1 comma 4 is 2 comma b what is b here b is equal to 4 so b is equal to 4 b b a uh, b is equal to 4 4 means what 2 4 so 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 it is 0 that means there is a path from 2 to 4 ok return back now fourth line is over for this particular function call now fifth line now uh, 1 to 4 now next p 1 comma uh, this line a comma b 1 comma 3 that is 4 comma b b is what 3 ok now p 4 comma 3 p 4 comma 3 it is 0 so this condition is true there is a path from it 4 to 3 so 4 to 3 ok and return back that means to move from 1 to 3 we have to follow this particular route 1 to 3 1 to 3 we have to follow the route 2 4 3 so first we have to 1 to 3 first we have to move 1 to 2 then 2 to 4 then 4 to 3 Okay, and that is the end of this particular video. Thank you very much.